this fire and ice tea, it is an incredible product that literally has been around for years and years and years and has sustained a massive barrage of people using it and trying it and, and uh, having an opportunity to see the benefits and, and literally over uh, the course of days and weeks and months start to see the things that are happening with their body as it transforms. And it's such a great chance for us because this is a product that literally was on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. This was a product that was picked as Success Magazine's uh, uh, nutritional supplement of the year. This is a product that is literally out there that has patents, as Fabian said, that is a patented product and a patented system for the body that literally we now have as a part of our product lineup. And so as I started to look at it, Dr. Allen, as we talked about earlier, you know, we recognize that there are a number of questions that everybody asks on a daily basis. And I'll hit on one of them real quick because we have people that say, well, what is it um, – on the label, what, why do you call it artificial sweeteners? Well, the fact is that there are certain certain uh, ingredients that you put in a product that obviously enhance the flavors, and it doesn't mean it's bad for you. And, of course, we stand on a mission. We also stand on Dr. Allen's mission that has no harmful ingredients and that her, it's her goal as well as the Mowers for 30 years to not have anything harmful. So, of course, there are certain, certain ingredients in there that actually enhance or that might uh, block some of the bitter taste or whatever it may be because when you've got these highly potent extract-based products, you might have a little bit of an interesting aftertaste or a taste as it hits your lips. This product is one that you love. This product is one that tastes delicious. This product is one that you start to crave and that as, you're, as, you're, as it hits your mouth, you go, oh, finally, i got it back in my system. It's coming back. And so we're going to talk about many of these aspects tonight. But Dr. Allen, welcome to the call. And thank you for being a part of it. Dr. Allen. Hey, Aaron. How you doing? I am so good. Long time no talk. Absolutely. We had a great talk today. It was lots of fun. <laughs> well, and you know, I'm excited about tonight's call because I think what a lot of people needed was an answer to really five strong basic questions that have to do with the way that we're looking at, um, at the tea. And so one of the things that I thought we would do is literally give everybody an opportunity to kind of, this will be a, 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 I've taken in some questions. I'm going to have you answer them, Dr. Allen. But what will happen at the end of this call, everybody, is that you'll be able to take these five basic conditions that we know are inside this tea and use this as a, as a learning, education, and a send-out opportunity so that you can educate others and then go out and start sharing this incredible product. So, Dr. Allen, I thought we ought to just jump right into it and literally talk about the first aspect of the tea, which is, Thermogenesis. What is it? Explain it to us lay people. Like what is it and what does it do? It, it's so funny for, for all you, you peeps out there who are listening tonight. Uh, what, what Aaron's trying to do is like get a cattle prod today on the phone. He's like kind of cattle prod me into an area where he goes, do you think you can just focus on these five questions? Just five? And I'm like, I don't know, because I might try to veer off. He goes, yeah, I know. We'll veer off and talk about something or tell a joke or, like, how are you doing? Out there? And he's like, can you just focus on these five questions? I'm like, I'm really going to try. I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> but, but I think we can because, you know what, you actually picked the five right questions. Usually when I get – ask questions, you know, sometimes my eyes have to roll back in my head, and I'm like, what? Can you use this in New Jersey? It's like, can you drink the tea in New Jersey? Yeah, yeah, you can drink. <laughs> can you drink it in Italy? Uh, yeah. It's like, so I get some, cra I'm not kidding you. If I could just take a whole night and read the questions I get that are crazy, we would have an entertainment. It would probably end up on television. But yeah, you're right. We've got to focus on questions tonight, okay? So really, the whole point of the tea, and that's, you know, like I've, invi I've invented 250 nutraceuticals and pharmaceuticals and genetic products and whatever, but my overall favorite is the tea. And the reason it's the tea, and of course, as I told you, I told you today, Aaron, my husband is hoarding the fire and ice, okay, and he won't give me in it until you send me some more. So you seriously, <laughs> I got okay? it on the way. I got I'm not it on joking. The way. <laughs> I'm not joking. You. I'll, I'll it's haunt on my you. Guess. Okay, so it's my favorite because the biggest problem that we're having on the earth right now, I mean, aside from craziness, um, you know, when it comes down to health, the health industry is diabetes and obesity, okay? 
um, that is the, the, the biggest threat to our long-term genetics and our long-term health because it's not getting any better. And now we're looking at like 80% of the American public has a serious issue with insulin resistance or metabolic syndrome or prediabetes, you know, and that, that's kind of scary. Um, the, the numbers are going higher and higher and higher, and they're not going back the other way. So if you're a good scientist, if you're a good researcher, if you care about human health, you'll say, okay, wait a minute. I need to focus on what the problem is. And what we're doing is we're not addressing the problem. We're doing everything but addressing the actual causal relationship with diabetes and obesity. And now they have a new name for it. It's diabetes, which um, – and scientists and researchers have combined the name obesity and diabetes. Well, there's a really good reason. They're caused by the same thing. So type 2 diabetes, which is not the same as type 1. Type 1 is genetic, and that's a whole other topic. We do do research and uh, clinical research on type 1 diabetics in our laboratory, but that's a very different animal from a type 2. Type 2 diabetes is one of the few diseases on the face of the earth that we can actually reverse. You know, we're, we're giving ourselves type 2 diabetes, and that's leading to a lot of other problems, including a lot of hormonal cancers, breast and prostate and things like that. So the reason that I invented the tea, it's actually my favorite of all the products that I've ever invented. That is my very favorite one because it, it, it addresses a real issue and a problem. Humans cannot get control over their appetite for a lot of brain reasons and brain glycemic indexing and the whole way that the human body has evolved. Obviously, if we could get control over our food cravings, we would all be, you know, a perfect size. Well, how's that working for you, okay? It ain't working because we can't control our appetites and we can't control what we eat, and it's causing all kinds of problems. So, you know, what a good scientist, as I said, has to focus on what can I do to make a difference to create a product that's an edible computer chip that tells your body what I want it to do. So, okay, so guess what? Now for two to four hours, I got your body's attention. You drink the fire and iced tea and... I got your body's attention. You can program the human body to do what you want it to do if you can get its attention, okay? And the way that you get its attention is you put a metabolic message into the body. In this case, it's in the form of T. You put that metabolic message in the body. And it gives a very, very clear-cut message to the brain and to the body, okay, and to the metabolism and to all of the circuitry of the body, all of that hardwiring, all of the genetics, um, every polymorphism you have in your body is focused on making you fat. That's what it wants to do. It wants to make us fat because that's where it feels safe. So what I did is create this one product that actually totally tells your brain and body to do something else. Now, after 30 years of clinical research, I came up with the most brilliant, brilliant, what I feel, is answer to fighting fat and genetics, okay? And I, I really love the name Fire and Ice Tea because you don't even know, but in a lot of our, our research and a lot of my documents, I have 750,000 pages of documentation for the Food and Drug Administration. That's lots of fun. And a lot of that is called firepower. So I, I was going back over my notes the other day, and I went, wow. I had never even heard the name fire and iced tea, and I have fire pyre all throughout all of my patents and research and science and creating tea. So what, what I'm saying is trying to eat carbs and sweets are hardwired. Don't try to fight it. It's not going to work. You know, starvation, anything. So we have to fight fire with fire, and that's why this is such a great name of the tea, okay? You can't control the cravings that you have, they're not controllable. So you need the firepower to do it. How do you do it? First, you have to instigate thermogenesis, which is fat burning. Then you need some high energy because without high energy, when you have low energy, you're going to eat and eat and eat to try to get your body energy up. Forget all that. Forget that. We can put maximum high energy in your body without putting any fat storing calories. Then we put... Um, the B vitamins and anti bloating matrix, okay? Uh, and that's when you can take those cravings and tell them to take a hike. Uh, ladies, better yet, you can give them a princess cut, okay? So it's interesting that I started to make two different teas, one for men and one for women, because that's what I do with arginine. Because the male body will let go of fat cells easier than the female body. It's easier to make a man thermogenic than a woman. Isn't that crazy? Okay? So, um, 
but I decided I'm just going to make one that works in both body types, right? Whether it's a, a, a fat storing body type or a skinny body type that has some body fat or you're genetically programmed to get fat in the future, we put it all into the same tea. So now we've got thermogenic fat burning, maximum natural energy, hunger management and control over the brain, over the brain, stress eating controls, because that's one of the biggest problems we have, eating from stress, and then beating the obesity gene, okay? Um, men are, you know, I, when I decided to make this men and women's formula, and I was working on that, I said, because that's not going to work. But, you know, my husband said, Okay, well, see, men can use the women's formula, but only if they claim they have a body like God. Now, my husband says he has a body like God, but the God he's talking about is Buddha. Okay, Aaron? Buddha. So first thing he did, first thing my husband did was grab the tea that I had made for women and chugged it down. Chugged the whole thing down. I was like, okay, well, you're in trouble now because you're going to seriously need a training bra. That's what's going to happen. Literally, he spit it out. So I, I went back to the one formula meets all. All right, so now let's talk about thermogenesis. The whole purpose of thermogenesis is to address the number one reason that your body is going to store carbohydrates, okay? So why is it going to store carbohydrates? Because that's how it's programmed to do. So if we look at thermogenesis, the only way that calories have to get out of your body is natural thermogenesis, which you have, you know, when you're 16, 17, and 18. Now, most of us, you know, we look pretty good when we were teenagers. We could eat a lot more food. But every day that you get over age 30, you start losing that thermogenesis, which is why we gain weight as we get older. So in the body, there's a mechanism for being thin and being healthy and being shapely. Luckily for us, that thermogenesis switch, the thermogenic switch has a turnoff point, which means – if we drink 50 buckets of the tea at one time uh, and become anorexic, will that be good? And then we'll lose, you know, 80 pounds of body fat and we'll weigh 102 pounds? No. What's great about thermogenesis is if you induce thermogenesis in the human body in a natural way, in a normal, natural, biochemically controlled methodology, then your body will only let go of its excess body fat and it won't let go of fat that's important to you. There's fat around your organs that protect you from getting injured. There's a certain amount of type of fat in your body where if you lose it, you're going to die. And, and first of all, you won't be able to have any children. So we want to be very safe in thermogenesis and we want to control thermogenesis. But since thermogenesis is the number one mechanism that the human body burns fat and gets rid of excess calories. So what are we talking about? Energy in, energy out. Calories in, which are energy, and calories out. We're all consuming the type of calories as energy and the type of foods and beverages that shut down thermogenesis, absolutely shut it off, okay, stop thermogenesis totally, and tell food to go into the fat cells. What what will derail that message of putting food into the fat cells and making us fatter and fatter and fatter as opposed to burning? So think about it. When you eat something, when you eat a food, that food has a choice, doesn't it? It's like, okay, your body says, well, we just ate something. We're either going to put this in the fat cells because we don't really need it right now or because it's a type of food or beverage that turns the key code to the fat cell and says, put me in the fat cell. Okay, like if you eat a giant ball of cotton candy, right, your body says, um, we don't really need that right now. We don't need that giant ball of cotton candy, so let's just put it in the fat cells. Well, you have no idea what foods and beverages and drinks, even drinks that are diet drinks, which are the worst offenders for, going, for causing food to go in the fat cells, okay, the worst offenders are those that don't have any calories and carbohydrates, okay, because – of the brain glycemic index that it causes to turn the key code. So, well, it, Dr. Go, Dr. Go Allen, yeah. Dr. Allen, so let me ask you this question. So there's a we we of course have the low glycemic tea. Yes. What is the difference between low glycemic and high glycemic items like you and I talked about earlier and we have in the past where you said here's one of the problems that people think that they're having just a straight black coffee but straight black coffee can actually end up being more of a high glycemic because it's not connected molecularly to a uh, carbohydrate. So maybe you can explain that for a minute or two. Yeah, you're exactly right. And, you know, th th this is pretty complicated science, okay? But I think that we can find a way to explain it in our marketing materials and uh, in our lectures and everything we do to educate uh, the people in Sizzle, 
my beloved peeps, is that we can explain it real simply, which we're trying to do tonight, and then we can get into a deeper level, and then we can explain it incredibly well if you want to really get down uh, to a molecular level. But basically, what we're talking about is, first of all, you, if, you, if you try to induce thermogenesis, which is causing the fat cells to get smaller. Now, when you eat something, your fat cells have a choice. They're either going to get bigger or they're going to get smaller. Okay? Now, here's the thing to do with thermogenesis and the glycemic index. If you don't combine thermogenesis with the glycemic index and brain glycemic indexing, you've completely wasted your time and you'll lose the game. You completely lose the game. Because if you're putting something in your mouth that triggers thermogenesis and thermogenic fat burning, it's immediately, within 10 to 15 minutes, going to start burning, burning, burning the ingredients that are inside the fat cell and forcing them out of the body. If at the same time you're going to, to – if give me an example. If the tea was high glycemic, but it was – you tried to make it thermogenic. Like that's what caffeine is and coffee. Black coffee will make you fatter than a pig. Now, the American Diabetes Association and about 300 other published clinical trials, which I'll make available to everybody, um, shows that Starbucks coffee or any black coffee is going to stimulate the storage of fat cells and totally blunt thermogenesis. So the whole reason that we're inducing thermogenesis is to get the f excess fat in our body to start burning off at an accelerated rate. And when I mean accelerate, I'm talking about 800% faster than if you were jogging around the block and you're not even moving. So let me tell you how powerful that T thermogenesis is. You can be standing still and not moving an inch or sitting on a sofa and not moving. And you can trigger your body within 15 minutes of drinking the tea to start burning 800% more fat in your body. And I mean at a really high Mach 7 accelerated rate than if you were jogging around the block as fast as you could run. You could be a marathon runner and you couldn't run off as much body fat in an hour or two hours as you could by inducing thermogenesis by drinking a drink. That is powerful. That is why I said, okay, the tea is the answer. Now, there's no point in drinking a thermogenic drink if the message inside of that tea is also saying, um, no, I was just kidding. I really want you to get fatter. I want your blood glucose to go up. I want your insulin to go up, and I want you to make more fat cells. So if the tea was high glycemic and not low glycemic, if the tea didn't have a low brain glycemic indexing, a ratio and index as we call it, it would stimulate the brain to make more fat cells, and drinking it as a high glycemic drink would tell the brain and the body to make more fat cells. So what you would have is a completely confusing message to the body, a completely mixed up message. So when I created the tea, and did the research and biopsies of fat cells, I said, okay, wait a minute. Thermogenesis is useless unless you accompany it with low glycemic, okay? So how do you, how do you achieve death in the energy depot? Now, that's a scientific term, okay? Death in the energy depot. What is the energy depot? A fat cell. What you're trying to do, as scientists refer to it, is apoptosis. It's death in the energy depot, meaning shut down the fat cell, get rid of the contents, then the fat cells get smaller and smaller. You know what? The difference between a fat person and a thin person is not the number of fat cells. It's the size of the fat cells, not the number of them. When you see a thin person, okay, they might have weighed, 250 pounds and all of a sudden they had gastric bypass and now they weigh 110 well their fat cells didn't go anywhere they're just flat they've been flattened out so if we have a low glycemic message to the body and a low glycemic brain glycemic indexing message right and then we induce thermogenesis you have the perfect molecular cascade for making the body burn up the fat that's in your body without moving one inch. Now, as I always say, am I telling people, no, don't move an inch, just sit there? No, we don't want to do that. Your cardiovascular <laughs> system would not appreciate that, okay? That's not what we're saying. But what we're saying is there is a strategic way to reduce an adipocyte, a fat cell, okay? 
And what you want to do to reduce that is to make it do it on, it, on its own, okay? So when excess calories are directed to fat cells for storage, that's called lipogenesis. And everything that we're doing right now, every drink, every diet soda, every regular soda, a regular soda and a diet soda, direct food and energy into the fat cells for storage. Almost everything we're eating directs food and energy into the fat cells. Okay, that's impossible for me to go to everybody's house that's on this call, even though I'd love to, and go, knock, knock, let me see what's in your refrigerator. What'd you eat today, right? Um, we don't have time to do that, nor can we do that. We're not the food police. But instead, we, you drink the tea, and it directs the fat cells to burn the contents as energy, the opposite of lipogenesis, which is fat storing. So it's the perfect mechanism. And it's won every award in the world um, on being able to do that. It's not easy to get a drink to do that. But when you do it and you do it right, as we have done in Fire and Ice Tea, you'll get the results that you want to get. It will shut down your low energy. It will pick up your energy. It will de-bloat you. I know when I was recently in Tampa and people were running up to me and saying, look at my hand. Feel the top of my hand. Well, what I was looking for was edema, which is water bloat. And people can hold 10 to 15 pounds of water bloat. You know why? Because they have low potassium. And potassium is the molecule that takes water weight out of the body, not calcium. When our athletes cramp up on the stage, it's not calcium. It's potassium. I put the most potent form of potassium in a large, large dose inside that tea so you can lose that water weight, okay? So now we're talking about losing water weight, which is 10 to 15 pounds a month. Hey, everybody's on the line. Just take your hand and make a fist, all right? And then take your, the, uh, your other hand and take your index finger and push down on the top of your hand. Does it turn white? Do you see like where you pushed on your finger, is it white or does it turn whiter or lighter? That's edema. That's water bloating because you have too many fat cells. Now, the tea is programmed to get rid of that water weight. When you get rid of that water weight, which is in a couple of days of drinking the tea, you're going to feel so much better. Then the energy and adrenal complex kicks in, and now you've got energy for two to four hours. You're burning fat. Your blood glucose levels are normal, which shuts down diabetes and obesity. The only thing else I could put in that tea is somebody to clean your house. <laughs> okay. You know what's funny is that I literally was just pushing on the back of my hand when you stopped talking. I was like, uh, let me see how I'm doing. <laughs> and I knew yeah. everybody on the phone is literally at the same time doing the exact same thing. Well, it was funny in Tampa when we were there, you know, and I showed them and I was showing them how to do it to see if you have edema. It's just to see if you have a B vitamin or a potassium deficiency. And here's another trick. I love tricks, okay? Hey, everybody's on the line. When you get a chance, not right now because we're talking, but after the call, go into the bathroom and stick out your tongue and look in the mirror. And if you see these lines running down your tongue like little fissures or it looks like there's a sock on your tongue, that's a B, typically, typically a B vitamin deficiency. Um, and so we put the B vitamins and the potassium back into the tea. So it's really a metabolic miracle of, of firepower to address bloating and low energy and lack of energy. So let's, let's go over what we've controlled with this tea. Your appetite, your apostat center in your brain, the glycemic index, your diabetes, your diabetes index, fat burning, thermogenesis. Um, I mean, you know, there's nothing else I can shove into that tea that's going to be any more like, okay, I've done it all in that one tea, which is why of all of the 250 products that I've ever invented, this is my very favorite one. Okay, but caffeine and buffered caffeine and the amount of caffeine is extremely important to thermogenesis as well. So we're the only company out there right now with a, with a buffered caffeine product yes. that's live on the market. Yeah, no, in Why? fact, companies are not allowed to, they can't say the word buffered caffeine. And there's a, here's another interesting uh, claim that we're allowed to make from the Food and Drug Administration. We are illegally the only scientists allowed to say that that tea has an anti-carbohydrate in it. Think about it. The only product in the world that has an anti-carbohydrate. What is an anti-carbohydrate? It's a brain-friendly carbohydrate that will talk to the brain, and the brain goes, oh, you fed me. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm happy, right? If you don't make the brain happy, everything's going down. But it doesn't affect the body. 
a, a natural carbohydrate that the brain says, oh, I love you, it's a good carbohydrate, we're happy, but that the body will not metabolize in, in terms of weight gain, okay? It won't go into your fat cells, it won't make you fatter, it won't make you bigger, it doesn't act like a normal carbohydrate, yet it's 100% organic and natural, 100% organic and natural, and that's the secret to buffered caffeine. That if we take a caffeine molecule, which we all, all already know, it's going to elevate your blood glucose and cause hypoglycemia. Okay, which means you drink a cup of coffee and your blood sugar, you know, spirals up high and you're like, wee, okay? Uh, and then it spirals. It, what, you could look on a chart. It, it, it takes an incredible dive down to you have hypoglycemia. And when you're in that hypoglycemic state, you're in total fat storing modality. So from the time you drink any kind of a black coffee or a high glycemic drink, your body is in fat storing. Now, scientists are saying, the most brilliant scientists, Yale, Harvard, uh, NIH, MIT, this is what they're saying. The answer to obesity is thermogenesis. Even Dr. Phil I love Dr. Phil. Even Dr. Phil has put out a new book saying the answer to obesity is thermogenesis. Think about that. That's very, very powerful. Even Dr. Phil has coughed up and said, forget all the diet books. The answer to obesity is thermogenesis. Well, hello, Dr. Phil. Hello. Knock, knock, knock. I said that back in 1983. You're just catching up now? So the point is to be able to induce thermogenesis. Okay, now scientists says that's the answer to obesity, and if you do it right, the only there's no side effects except you have higher energy, you feel better, you have a deep bloater, and you and you kill your false appetite. So I'll tell you what, ladies, if you have a problem with like lunch and you know you're going to eat a bunch of candy bars, about 45 minutes to a half an hour before you know you're going to lose it and eat something, drink the tea. And I know that's one of the questions you wanted to ask me is when to take it and how to take it. But the buffered caffeine, we have the only buffered caffeine in the world. I took a caffeine molecule, and I was already mad at the caffeine molecule because the caffeine molecule can do some amazing things. There's all kind of new research in, in uh, taking out some of the polyphenols out of caffeine. NIH is doing that and, tr and using it to treat cancer and other diseases. This is great. So there's some polyphenolic action in caffeine that's good, but it, we don't want all of the other side effects of caffeine. So I took a caffeine molecule and I compassed it in the anti-carbohydrate, okay? So that when it goes in the body, it says, oh, okay, um, okay, we're a nice, happy carbohydrate that the brain likes, so it doesn't go into the fat cell, doesn't make you fatter, and doesn't cause the jitters. We have figured out how to calm down a caffeine molecule. And so we can use that in any way we want to, so you don't get the jitters, you don't get the insulin spikes, and we're the only scientists in the world that have ever invented a uh, buffered caffeine. And that's another reason why this tea is amazing. And as I say, is my most favorite product of all my products. So, Dr. Allen, here's a quick question for you then. We have, and you've mentioned this on calls before, but I think it's important for people to understand it. We have certain times of the day, if you will, and I'm not putting a pinpoint like 8 or 10 or 12 or whatever the number is, mm -hmm. but there are certain times of the day that our body hits what I would consider peak times for thermogenic activity. What times are those and when should we take the tea, knowing that it has some caffeine? Obviously, we don't want to take it at 7 o'clock at night. We might be angry the next day. But <laughs> Somebody's going to be angry. It's going to be your wife because you <laughs> talked all night. <laughs> Hurry up. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So, so when, is it, when is it the smartest time to use the tea and when is our body most active thermogenically? You know, at one point I wanted to call this smart tea because it does the thinking for you, okay? Smart tea and smart nutraceuticals um, do the thinking for you so you don't have to figure it out. You don't have to go to get a Ph.D. in nutrition and go, all right, let me figure this stuff out. Right? You just drink that tea. Okay, so it's called timing specificity. Now, there are only certain times that it's going to work to induce thermogenesis Okay, during the day. Now, for, let's just make it real easy. You can only induce thermogenesis three times a day, all right? Now, here's a, here's a good juicy one for you. The time that your body creates thermogenesis that's internal, okay, that's called internal thermogenesis versus dietary-induced thermogenesis, which is what the tea does. When you go to sleep at night, 
okay? About 45 minutes into your sleep cycle, you go from REM into delta. If you're in delta sleep and you have enough arginine in your body, okay, your body will induce growth hormone that is your internal thermogenesis. So that's great when you're 16 years old. You've got a lot of growth hormone. And, and don't take synthetic growth hormone. That won't work. It'll just cause a nice back fat brain tumor. All right, let's not do that. But that's internal thermogenesis. So one of the reasons that we get fatter is we lose that internal thermogenesis, again, when we hit 29, 30 years old, right? So then the only choice we have is to increase our muscle mass, and that's muscle mitochondria burning of thermogenesis, but that's pretty slow. That's a pretty slow type of thermogenesis, okay? And the other one is the dietary-induced thermogenesis, which is what the tea does. But you can only do that three times a day. So here are your choices. You can take it when you first get up, Okay, because remember, whatever you put in your mouth, as soon as you wake up, within a half an hour of waking up, you've got to put something in your mouth. So when these people go, I don't like breakfast, I go, I don't care if you like breakfast, I'll give you something to drink. Let's drink something. And I'm going to tell you guys how to make drinks in the morning that just are, are, are protein, low glycemic smoothies and things like that. We're going to, uh, Aaron and I are going to make you some pamphlets to tell you how to do that, how to make that in your own kitchen just by going to the grocery store. Um, Okay, but if when you first wake up, you've got to do something in the first half an hour that says, okay, Mr. Idiot Fat Cells, who are every day is Groundhog Day in the life of a fat cell, they wake up and go, what? What do you want me to do? What? Okay, you have to tell them in a half an hour waking up. So you better either drink or eat something low glycemic, okay, which means shut down the fat cell storage and burn fat. We don't want to burn fat. We, want to, we, don't, want to, we don't want to store fat. We want to burn it. Or you can drink the tea when you first get up. So here's your choices. All right, because I have this issue with bodybuilders and powerlifters. They're like, well, I want to eat when I get up. Okay, here's news. You can't exercise and do thermogenesis at the same time. Do not try to drink the fire and iced tea and go and exercise. You cannot exercise and do thermogenic fat burning at the same time. Because when you exercise, your body's looking for another type of thermogenesis, okay, versus dietary induced. They will fight each other. Do not do that. And the thermogenesis that you do when you exercise, it takes two hours, two hours to get into the kind of thermogenesis, two hours of intense exercise of trying to get into any kind of fat burning thermogenesis versus drinking the tea. You either drink the tea or you're going to go out there and lift weights or jog for two hours. Now, you can't do them both at the same time. Don't even think about it. So for like athletes that I was talking to today, I said, okay, if you get up, when you wake up within a half an hour of waking up, okay, you drink your tea. Now, if you, if you don't like to exercise on an empty stomach, okay, wait about an hour and then go exercise. Do not exercise right after you drink that tea. You're going to totally mess things up, okay? It's a completely wrong message to the body. So you would have to wait an hour after you drink the tea before you exercise. So here's your choices. You can get up and have the tea, and you can wait about an hour Okay, and then you can eat a little something and go exercise, or you can exercise and come back and eat. But here's the point. Do not eat and take the tea at the same time. It's not going to work. They will fight each other. When you eat, you're telling your body to, to, build, to build muscle mass, to store uh, proteins, to store fat, and then you're going to drink the tea. It's a completely confusing message. It won't work. It will not work. So the, the food has to be about an hour away from the tea, from any kind of tea thermogenesis. So our tea thermogenesis has to be an hour away from food. Now, the most important thing is if you really have a problem with appetite, if you know you're going to stuff yourself sometime before bedtime, okay, and it's in between lunch and dinner, and breakfast and lunch, somewhere in between then. You can have the tea about 45 minutes before you're going to lose your mind and eat something. So if you know you're going to lose, lose your mind and eat something at lunch and you're going to eat five candy bars, you can, before you eat something, take the tea and wait about 45 minutes. But after you eat something, you have to wait an hour or two hours. Now, here's something really juicy. If you're really, really overweight or have a slow metabolism, like, like you're an Oprah body type, 
okay? That's a phenotype, and that means slow energy burning, and you all know who you are because you can eat a lettuce leaf and it turns to fat, right? Okay? So you're going to have to wait about an hour to two hours after you eat something before you induce that thermogenesis. Like you eat lunch, you're going to have to eat an hour, wait an hour to an hour and a half to two hours to drink the tea, and I'll tell you why. Because the more body fat you have, and the more insulin resistant you are, the slower you metabolize food. And you don't want any food in your gut when you try to get your fat, fat cells to start spinning and burning. Okay? So if you want to have the tea when you first get up and then wait an hour to go exercise, or you want to drink the tea and then wait about an hour and have a low glycemic snack, okay? What would be a low glycemic snack? Well, here's some is scrambled eggs with some cheese in it, and you put it in a flour tortilla, not a corn tortilla. Do not eat a corn tortilla. It triggers the fat storage. It turns the key code, okay? I'm going to give you guys a bunch of simple things you can do to make uh, smoothies or snacks that are really easy to do. Another thing is you can do um, oatmeal, but not instant oatmeal. Instant oatmeal will make you fat. It turns the key code. But, you know, um, a lot of our athletes will make up a big pot of like long cooking oatmeal, just keep it in the refrigerator and then stick it in the microwave. But you can't eat carbs without protein and you can't eat protein without carbs when you eat. Remember that. No protein without carbs, no carbs without protein. Absolutely not. Okay? Um, so then you, you, you could have, say, oatmeal with some kind of protein, whether it's some turkey bacon or some scrambled eggs. So try to eat at least one egg a day. Okay, at least one egg a day. So we'll get into the whole food thing at another time. In fact, we're going to teach you everything about what foods to build muscle, what foods to lose body fat, what foods to have the body you want. We're going to teach you all that. But Aaron will not let me stay on the phone tonight all night long because he's going to hang up on me any minute anyway. All right. <laughs> so thermogenesis. Don't eat when you're trying to induce thermogenesis with the tea. Um, if you're going to eat, you have to wait an hour to two hours after, okay? Like you have lunch, say you have lunch at 12, okay? Then at 2 o'clock, drink the tea. That will satiate your brain and body for the uh, energy, calories, and carbohydrates it needs for a good two to four hours, okay? Then if you do, uh, say you want to do it, the biggest time of danger in the human body of running out of energy and crashing and burning is at 10.30 in the morning and somewhere in the afternoon around 3.30 to 4. So you can time it that way. You can know when you're, going, when you know, when you're really dragged out and you go, wow, at 10.30 I'm going to be dragging. Well, guess what? When your body starts dragging, your brain starts looking for food. Feed me, feed me. And, you know, it's not going to be looking for some carrots and celery, all right? It's looking for a candy machine or a burger or something like that. You can totally ward that off by drinking the tea because it's going to shut down the false food cravings. It doesn't put you into ketosis, and it doesn't put you into a state of starvation. It says, well, I don't really need any food right now. False food cravings are cravings that you have where you, your body's telling you to eat, but you really don't need that energy. So all throughout the day, here's what I'm trying to do. Drink it in the morning. Drink the tea in the morning. Drink it mid-morning, around 10.30, somewhere right there. And then drink it in the afternoon, three times. After dinner, forget it. Forget it. You really can't induce thermogenesis that late at night unless you work all night, and that's a whole other story. And I'll even do a schedule for those people that stay up all night, okay, because I'm up till like 3 or 3 or 30 in the morning doing research. Uh, uh, looking at blood charts, etc. So, you know, I stay up crazy hours. So I'll be sitting here drinking the tea just because I know I'm going to be up late. Now, for those of you that want improved cognitive function, you will notice if you drink the fire and iced tea within 15 to 20 minutes, you will have a 50 to 80% improvement in your cognitive function. That means taking tests, that means in school, that means retention of memory because your brain is clear. That is one of the most profound effects of the fire and iced tea is cognitive improvement, better memory, better focus that lasts for about two hours. That is one of the most profound and best side effects of the tea. Well, Dr. Allen, I have to again tell you thank you for not only all that you do, and of course there are a lot of things that folks you don't realize behind the scenes that have to be done, in order for us to produce products. There's so much information that has to be developed and, you know, testing and tasting and all that good stuff to make sure that you even get it and you want it and you, and you like it after you have your first, uh, your first glass of it. But the fact is that so much is done behind the scenes. So thank you, Dr. Allen, for that. But not only that, 
imparting your wisdom and jumping on and educating everybody and giving them an opportunity to learn and grow and understand better why this product is such a phenomenal product. So thank you for 30 years of research and bringing it to Sizzle International. I can't tell you how much we appreciate having the fire and ice uh, iced tea here with us now. So thank you so much. And thank you, Aaron. And I, and I have to say I have really – I um, haven't been on board a long time at Sizzle, but I have really, I really enjoy working with the crew, with you and Ryan and Tom Sr. and Junior um, and Crazy Fabian, and all of you guys are so much fun to work with. We really have a blast. We laugh all the time. We have a good time. We try to figure out uh, the best way to, to transport uh, information that we have to to the whole down line. And I think, you know, Aaron, in the near future, they're going to see some, some interesting marketing materials and brochures that we come out with. And any way that we can to educate the people is what I want to do. Educate them as to how the tea works so they can use it because it's going to be such a powerful tool in their arsenal of business. If this is a business to you or not a business, but if it's a business, know your business, understand your business, understand how the products work. And I think that that's important for us to to educate them in that way. Well, I agree. And again, everybody was, that was on the call tonight, boy, I'll tell you what, you had a power pack call and everybody should be getting off this call and making phone calls to everybody that they know while the information is fresh on your mind and chatting with them about this incredible product that Sizzle has out called Fire and Ice Tea. And what a phenomenal product, thermogenic, uh, low glycemic, fat burning support, amazing, amazing product. So I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. And I got to tell you that you know, the other day I was on uh, Facebook and I posted up something fairly simple. I just said something about, you know, if you could have one functional beverage a day that would create that thermogenesis, the fat burning, the appetite control, that tastes delicious, that increases your energy over the four to six hours without jitters or shakes or the letdown of uh, normal over-caffeination that will stimulate your body's most efficient fat burning mechanism, which is thermogenesis, which we've talked about tonight. It'll diminish your appetite for the four to six hours, helping you achieve your weight loss goals. It's low glycemic, so that even though it tastes great, it doesn't stimulate the fat cells. And I said, seems too good to be true. Folks, not anymore. You've just heard it right here on the call. Absolutely not anymore. We have got one of the most incredible patented systems to help you lose weight, to help you feel great, to give you that cognitive function, the focus, the clarity, the opportunity to, to watch your body metamorphosis into the body that you hoped it would, but we're having trouble getting there. This is the product. I keep on seeing over and over again, everybody, people saying, I've lost four pounds, I've lost six pounds, I've lost seven pounds. I personally have lost six pounds on this product. I'm going to change the way I do it after this call. I'm but you know what, Aaron? You know what? Yeah. You, didn't, you didn't lose weight. You lost body fat. Well, which is absolutely even better because when I get naked, I want to look as good as I can, folks. I'm, I'm getting older in life. I got to, you know, they always say that when you're younger, you don't mind taking off your clothes. Mid-age, you're a little bit concerned. And then when you get older, it's just over. Don't ever take off your clothes. In fact, folks, we have a great opportunity right now. Go out. This is one of the greatest sampling products that I've ever seen in the history of multi-level marketing. It is the sampling king and queen of products. Why? Because every man, woman, and child can use this product and, and literally immediately start to feel that burning and start to taste that the incredible taste and start to utilize those fat-burning support mechanisms that Dr. Allen has patented, patented, folks, into this process so that we have what we need in order to simulate that functional benefit. So, folks, jump off the call. Call the people that got you on the call and find out how to get your product now. And for those people that are on the call that already are using the product, call everybody you know and let them know that you've got more product that you can send them by just getting online and, and ordering through the back office the product. You can get them as many boxes as you possibly want. This is the product. Hey, Aaron, if you don't send me my boxes, door. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get that done first thing in the morning. Dr. Allen, thanks again. Everybody, thanks for being on the call. See you this next week. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.